There was a kidnapping in Mexico. Four American citizens traveled to Mexico for medical operations. Two of them, well, all four of them were caught up in a shootout between Mexican drug cartels. In the aftermath of the shooting, one Mexican woman was killed. Four Americans were caught up in the crossfire. Two were killed and two were kidnapped and rescued. However, Republican Senator, or let's just say Congressman, I'm not sure if he's in the House of Representatives or in the Senate, so we're just going to sit there and say Congressman. Republican Congressman, oh, he's a senator, my bad, I'm uninformed. Senator Lindsey Graham, Republican from South Carolina, said that he would push a law, push to pass a law for military action, American military action in Mexico against the drug cartels in retaliation for the killing of and kidnapping of four American citizens. Now, let's see what Lindsey Graham had to say, because he talking crazy. Much about it, or they don't really have a plan for it. What would Lindsey Graham do in this situation? Well, I would follow Bill Barr's advice and get tough on Mexico. It's not just the hostages. Number one, I'd do everything I could to get them back. I'd do what Trump did. I'd put Mexico on, no Mexico, on, Mexico on notice. If you continue to give safe haven to fentanyl drug dealers, then you're an enemy of the United States. 70 to 100,000 people have died from fentanyl poisoning coming from Mexico and China. Here's what I don't understand. America is well within its power to bully Mexico into getting rid of these cartels. Look at what we did to Iraq for having the wrong person in charge. We turned that country into a fucking dump. Iraq will never be the same. Iraq will never be the same. Look up a picture of before and after of Iraq. Don't worry, I'll do it for you. Iraq before and after. Look, look at, look at, look at this. Look at what it looked like before, and look at what it turned into. Look at what it turned into. Wasteland, somewhere you would never want to be. Look at what it turned into, a disaster. If the United States really in its mind decided that, you know, uh, Mexico and its drug cartels and fentanyl trafficking is so dangerous and so horrible, and we got to protect American citizens, we would have done something a long time ago. So that's just my point. That's my point. It's just... You know, I, I love the fact that Lindsey Graham is so amped up and ready to deliver strong retribution to not only the cartels, but also let Mexico know, like, we're not playing with you. My problem is this has been a problem for a very long time. Drug cartels have been around for a long time. If we could do that much damage to uh, Al Qaeda and, you know, all the other terrorist groups in Iraq back in 2004, how is it that we're not able to do this kind of damage to the cartel? I'm just saying, why are we not cooperating with Mexican forces to drive the cartels out of Mexico? It could be done if we wanted it to be. So the tough talk is nice, but I just want to know why has it never amounted to anything over the course of decades? And this administration has done nothing about it. So Bill Barr's idea about, I'm going to introduce legislation, Jesse, to make uh, certain Mexican drug cartels, foreign terrorist organizations under U.S. law and set the stage to use military force if necessary to protect America from being poisoned by things coming out of Mexico. Now, Mexico becoming the stage of another war is definitely not good news, especially given the fact that we already have our hands full with Ukraine and Russia. But, you know, a lot of people saw this and were like, oh, you know, it's going to be a, a a big war and we're going to go to war with Mexico and that, that, that. I don't really think that Lindsey Graham would be, would be capable of presenting legislation to get conventional U.S. forces. We talk about United States Marine Corps, U.S. Army Infantry. I just have a hard time with Air Force, Navy as well. You know, there's a Gulf of Mexico. We could really do an entire, yeah, I mean, honestly, Mexico would be fucked. I highly doubt that Lindsey Graham will be capable of getting a conventional U.S. military operation against Mexican drug cartels to pass through Congress up to, up to the White House. I just don't see how it's going to happen. Now, if he pressed like, hey, look, Mr. President, we want special operations groups to start hitting the cartels hard. You know, that would be a, a confidential, obviously confidential plan put in place by the government to get that done. But that's as far as I see it going. I don't see... U.S. Marines putting boots on the ground against the cartels. I just don't see the reason. I just don't see the reasoning. It's been a very long time. 
of these cartels doing what they do, and we've never taken a strong stance against it, ever. We talk on and on about fentanyl and cocaine and this and the third. It's killing our people. If the, if the government truly felt that way and was truly bothered by this, we would have invaded Mexico and put a puppet president in there a long time ago. I'm just saying, we would have fixed this problem a long time ago if it was genuinely that big of an issue, but we haven't. So I don't see like World War III starting between America and Mexico. At the most, maybe some, you know, DEA, CIA, FBI, special operations units will probably get involved. You know, if, you know, at like a worst case scenario, Green Berets and SEAL team gets involved. But, you know, law enforcement agencies have hit squads. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure if, if any, if at the worst, that will be the American military operations, the American military force against Mexico, or at least Mexican drug cartels. But I think Lindsey Graham is talking crazy here. I just don't see how he could get that level of interference to take place. So what would Lindsey Graham do? I would tell Mexican government, if you don't clean up your act, we're going to clean it up for you. Well, that definitely um, is something that's going to get Lindsey Graham reelected. Good for Lindsey Graham for taking the time to go on Fox News to say that. I mean, good strategy. You know, if I'm trying to get reelected, that's what my voters want to hear if I'm a Republican. Uh, I just don't know if it's going to become what everybody's, what everybody's thinking it's going to become. I don't see how he's going to be able to convince, you know, everyone in Congress that this is a good idea. Um, I don't see how that he's going to be able to get that to pass. Um, but I think it's very disappointing that these cartels are able to funnel drugs into this country for so long with just impunity. What the hell is the government doing? I know people have always said, oh, you know, the government's in league with the cartels and blah, 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 which, you know, at a certain point in time starts to sound very believable, given the fact that very little has, has been done against these cartels. But, you know, um, man, you know, I just have a hard time believing that this is really going to happen or that Lindsey Graham's really going to be able to get anything major to pass. Given the fact that even even Trump's administration, which was very, very hard line towards, you know, illegal immigration, Mexico, drug cartels, you know, the fact that they weren't able to really get anything aggressive done, as far as I know, in terms of operations against cartels. I just don't see how this presidency, I don't see how this administration is going to sit there and listen to Lindsey Graham's, you know, uh, you know, push for this. But, you know, let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. You know, I'm not the most politically educated. I don't know everything yet. I'm still getting into politics and learning more. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.